What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are looking at how to set up your Rock Shaker subwoofer. Now, Rock Shakers are available in multiple different colors and sizes, but this video will cover how to set up your specific one. Let's get to it. So right out of the box, basically a Rock Shaker comes with two things, the actual subwoofer and the power cord. Now in the front of each Rock Shaker, we have a removable grill, which just gives you two options for whatever look you are going for with your subwoofer. And it's really easy to take off the grill if you ever want to. Put your two fingers at the corner over here and just pull straight out and it easily pops right out. If you ever want to put it back in, you just line up these grooves with the holes over here and it locks right back into place. Now on the back of the unit, we have our amplifier panel as well as our port. The port just adds a tighter bass response and gives it a very cinematic and deep quality to the sub, which makes it perfect for a home theater as well as studio applications. Now the first thing you want to do when you're setting up your rock shaker is you're going to take your power cable, take the female end, plug it right over here, then you're going to take the male end and plug it directly into the wall. Then all you do is turn it on with the power button and you should get power. Right under the power LED, we have the control knobs for our Rock Shaker 10. The main one is our master volume knob. So this is just to set the level of the subwoofer, how loud it's gonna be in your setup. Then the one right below that is our frequency knob, which is actually a control for the low pass filter. And that's adjustable between 50 Hertz and 150 Hertz. Now to explain what that means is, Anywhere I set this point to, so if I set it all the way to 150 hertz, it just means that this subwoofer is going to play 150 hertz and everything below that. So nothing above 150 hertz. If I was to set it to the middle to like 75 hertz, it just means this subwoofer is going to play everything 75 hertz and below, nothing above 75 hertz. So that's a preference setting that you can match with your setup, depending if you have full range speakers, mid speakers, or tweeters, you can find the perfect balance for where you want your subwoofer to exist. Right next to our control knobs, we have our line RCA inputs and line RCA outputs. Now this is actually how you're going to integrate it into your setup. So I actually have a Bluetooth receiver here. Now you might not have this particular home theater receiver, but if you have a home theater receiver with a pair of RCA outputs or any powered speakers that have RCA outputs, the way you set it up with the rock shaker is exactly the same. Now the only thing that you need to connect your receiver to your rock shaker is an RCA cable. So I have an RCA cable here. On the back of your receiver, you're going to find something that says either base or sub output. So on the back over here, it says base output. Then I'm going to take my RCA cables and plug both of them in to that base output over there. And then with this end, I'm going to find my line input, which is right over here. And I'm going to match it up just by color. White goes into white, red goes into red. Now basically this is just the bridge from this receiver into this subwoofer, which is going to send all of the sub frequencies from this receiver into this subwoofer so we have a balanced system. And it would be exactly the same if you have any other home theater receiver or powered speakers that have base RCA outputs or line outputs in general. Now if your setup does doesn't have any line RCA outputs, there is another way that you can get signal to your rock shaker, and that is using high level inputs. With high level inputs, you're able to tether off of the speaker wire going to your passive speakers right into the high level inputs over here, which is going to bring signal to the subwoofer. And you can do the same thing with the high level outputs. You can keep sending the signal forward through passive speaker wire. But most modern receivers and speakers are going to have RCA outputs, so I would recommend using an RCA cable to run directly into your rock shaker. Right below the RCA input inputs and outputs, you'll see a switch that says phase and it's zero degrees and 180 degrees. Basically, this just allows you to flip the phase of the subwoofers to make sure that your subwoofer is hitting directly in time with the rest of the speakers in your setup. So if you're ever playing music and you listen and it sounds like the kick is kind of going in instead of out, you know, thumping out, you're going to want to go and just flip the switch the other way to try to get it to hit at the same exact time. And right below the phase switch is actually our auto on and off switch. So when you set it to the on position, what that means is the subwoofer is going to go into sleep mode when no signal is presented but once it gets signal received from your home theater receiver it's going to turn on and power on and start playing music this is just really convenient so you don't have to go and turn the subwoofer on and off between uses so as you can see it is very simple to set up the rock shaker with your bluetooth or any type of home theater receiver you're just running an rca cable to connect to both of them but let's go ahead and just listen to what this sounds like really quick all right guys so we have the demo all set up i put the subwoofer on the floor where you would normally put it when you're listening to music. I basically have it running off of the RCA outputs going from the Bluetooth directly into the RCA inputs on the rock shaker. Let's just hear what this sounds like. Here we go. Just a Bluetooth 
Hopefully you found this video helpful on how to set up your rock shaker subwoofer. But again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team either through phone or email right here. Again, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.